Choose your hero. James now wants to play around with jabs. You don't want to trade hits for this, but Mushi coming in. Oh, this actually could turn around to be a kill. They have the shackle. They have the shackle. That base right click damage. You don't want to be taking too much damage from the iron shell. And they actually will bring James down for the first blood going the way of Mushi M God. Of course, Meeples. He's already got in his little puppies. So let the flash farming begin. Nice. Still getting somewhat decent EXP from this lane, although not the CS. It is pressuring him really, really hard in this lane. Because he went for the level 1 whirling death. Means that he's not as tanky yet. But now that he got his level 2... Okay, reactive armor not so bad. But James about to die a second time. He does keep it into the lane. GG and mid. I'm not going to complain, you know. F1, it's paddock suite tickets and... Get, like, spa treatments and everything. Open air view. free. free. Why not, right? But Shadow Shaman, oh, they want to rotate into the mid. They might actually be able to kill the... Yep, they will kill Gabby off. So it's going to be 3-0. and oh, Mineski looking extremely strong. And of course, being the high MMR, right? So he's looking to lurk around the mid again. Ninja Boogie, the first night time. Pretty much easier to get a gank here. Raging Potato, still messing around in Vice size. Two of the strongest solo laners out there in the region. Uh. <coughs> Jesus, Now this is basically a tri lane mid. Or you can make it a quadruple lane. Oh boogie, they found him. Done. For the puffs, should be a quick kill here. Actually no, Hunter in the night. And he will die to the ancients. Reaper Scythe, they will kill off me. Gabby one more time. So down goes Mapo. Long enough. He as well. This is pretty good. Like you don't think about this tiny detail. Something, anything second, but hey. Bottom lane, they found the Disruptor, Jabs. Kind of punched down the Shadow Shaman, but here comes Boogie. And they will find RR actually getting solo killed by James. That was a 2v1, Red Raging Potato going to orb in. Boogie, they have the Void, alright, using the Coil only on 2 1. But looks like Gabby's going to find himself one kill. Earth Bind, and down goes Jabs. Raging Potato? But over the middle lane, can they kill Nana? Popping the Ghost Shroud, they could actually try for a turnaround, looking for the Reaper Scythe. Almost gets the kill. Really, really low. Oh, but the death pulse might be enough to kill Gabby. One more hit and Nana gets himself a beautiful kill. For a glimpse. And actually, Raging Potato will find jabs. Glimpse, but over the middle lane, they are having some... Oh, okay. They want to try and fight this. They want to contest. Nice coil into two. Fisher to stole Nana in his place. But it doesn't really do much. Gabby looking for the proofs with the earth find. Oh, nice echo going to be used onto Ice Side and down he goes. Reaper Side, the will kill off the Meeple. Static Storm going to be thrown out. He just got level six. It's going to trap Nana inside. The glimpse back. They want to try and find Ninja Boogie. But Moon, Nana is so tanky. Look, he's still alive. You just can't kill this here. Oh, as frog spam everywhere, Ninja Boogie. Oh, he's finally going to die. But okay, Nana against the will. And he will find Ara. Look at that region. And he's gonna start just right clicking away the tower. He doesn't even care. And now they wanna go here. They use the veil, and of course, with the coil and the silence on eye side size. Even laying down the static storm. He has a cloak. He has 17 one charges and 20 stacks of reactive armor. He's gonna timber chain away. Did even damage, but here comes Nana. And with the shackle, they will find the darks here as well. Reaper Scythe into the ground. And he's gonna go dead, dead, dead. Ninja Boogie, he's found Raging Potato using the silence up. And of course, down goes Raging Potato as well. And Mineski. As I said, these guys are looking super, super strong. They have to commit a ton of heroes for this kill. King, where's Ice Ice Ice? They know Ice 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 is here. Right? Yep, they will find Ice 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 at long last. Giving up their ages in that scenario. Now they have to immediately back off. The boogie. Silent stop. But it's okay. They just wait for Ice 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 to respawn. And he's just... If Gabby can find that one pick off. Oh, this could be a really big opening up with the Earth Bind. Might even kill off Mushi here. Mushi is dead. So Gabby getting a big kill with the four Meepos, like I said. Actually, they found the main Meepo, who is wandering a bit over alone. Now he's going to poof all the rest of the Meepos in, but he's actually going to die a vacuum back, trying to save his teammate, but unfortunately, will be for naught. And Lumic fighting under the shrine. Actually, no, he's actually just going to blink out. Ooh, now they're going to be on the hunt for this. Ice, 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 chasing with that Timber Saw, caught inside the Chakra, and actually will die to the urn, and bang. Nice Timber Chain. 
or they had buybacks on the Earthshaker and Meepo, but it looks like they may actually be forced to use it because Minerva standing further and further away from each other so they make sure they don't get caught by the Echo or the Vacuum for that matter. Now the Vacuum into three with the Echo landing onto all three as well, but it's not enough to kill anyone. And Static Storm actually might be enough to kill all Jabs. Jabs will finally die, but Ice Eyes, he's big and angry. And the Serpent was still heading away into the bar range barracks. James will actually go down to the Timber Chain. So it's going to be that one for one trade. Mushi actually blinking as fast as he can all the way to join his team in the middle lane, but they will lose at least the range barracks. Gabby, look, Link who's gonna go on. He's gonna go straight for Nana. Reaper Scythe will kill off Lumic. And now they want to right click away into the Timber Cell. Not the big, not the smartest idea. And Gabby may actually end up going down. Fighting under the shrine. Mushi just blows up Raging Potato. And fighting under the shrine, the Chakram damage is gonna be there. And down goes Gabby for the count. Four heroes down, 23 to 7. And the GG should be called pretty soon. The Ninja Boogie. And of course, oh, the Echo. Everything gonna be used onto Jabs. I'm not so sure about that. But huge overcommitment. Gabby going straight for Ninja Boogie. Boogie's gonna die. Gem on the floor. Static Storm gonna land onto Nana. And the Nana will end up dying. So there's gonna be three heroes down. And actually, now they call the GG. Uh, they just wanted to get some kills. Gabby and Cole, because you let's face it. Your heroes. All these spells from Winter Wyvern, the Splinter Blast. And not to mention, with the lack of disables, they actually might be able to. See, you guys might be able to see a really good puck game again. Top lane, Torrin, they've already found James. And of course, First Blood going to Boogie. Fortune 10. Great usage. And James giving away First Blood is just the new RTK meme. Let's see, Wyvern, ISSS getting caught out. The Shackle's gonna be there. Gabby, can we get a few lucky bashes in? Arctic Burn, he will actually die. So both off lane is giving away a kill a piece. Just so that you can just kind of... But okay, hold it on. Jabbers might be in some trouble. The Napalm stacks are piling up. Ninja Boogie is there with the Fortune Zen. He's actually going to use the Fates Edict. And he's going to save Jabs. Oh, he actually gets a nice triple Fortune Zen. It's torrent as well. The teamwork. One for one trade. Nana does end up going down to Raging Potatoes Viper. But so that's why you can see the appeal behind the Aghanim Scepter. But now time dilation up into the Winter Wyvern. They know he does not have... His Arctic Burn, he doesn't have the Cold Embrace as well. He's caught inside the trees. The um, Shackle's gonna be there. Ninja Boogie needs the Fortune Zen. He's going with the Nuke. Oh, they still will get the Nuke. RR with the Ether Shock. But now here comes Nana. We'll find RR with the Purifying Flames. We'll find Gabby as well. James is smoked up. They want to use that last. So he actually has a Blink Dagger already. I did not notice this item pickup. So this could be really big. If they can find the Ice Size Size Wyvern, that's pretty big. He doesn't have level 6 yet. Now blinking for yep, they will go straight for the Winter Wyvern. They won't need the Chrono for the Time Dilation going to be there as well. And down goes Ice Ice Ice. So great debut for the Blink Dagger usage already. And now they will know. Using the Serpent Wars, they want to take the Tier 1 Tower bottom. Down to try and slow down this push, but Gabby has a Chrono. If they can find the spells, find the right Chrono onto him, they might even get the Nana kill. They're actually orbing in into the ship. Oh, the Chrono! He might need to Time Walk all this away. He doesn't have it. Okay, now he's gonna time up, but the Eclipse comes out. Gabby, one more hit. Can they find the vision onto Gabby? And yes, the Lucent Beam will kill him off. Luna in a bit of hurt here. He's gonna go for the TP out with the False Promise and the Shackle as well. They should have enough damage, and actually, they will kill Ninja Boogie. So, two heroes down. And Mineski, they have overextended. Two for two, make it a three for two. Lumic. I mean, I'm not saying that Puck isn't an initial hero. He is. Now, going for the X Mark. Oh, they found it for Gabby. Torrin into the ship. Torrin's gonna be off the mark. Now time to pop that epicenter coming into the barrel strike on two! Kunka jabs very, very low. And actually, the sandstorm might be able to kill off the winter wyvern. Cold embrace is gonna expire. Lumix still trying to kill Ice 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 off. But over the back, alright, Nana's gonna die to the shackle from RR and execration are doing it. They find a double kill for James. He's redeeming himself. Dyer's top tower. Shift and execration now have the 3000 gold advantage. Mushi trying to take the bottom tier one. Heroes are coming in though, James, he wants to go on to Mushi, he is alone. So Mushi, popping the Eclipse right now, he wants to kill, he will actually get the solo kill here onto James. Yep, Gabby now pops the Chrono, they want to kill Luna. Where's Oracle, can he get in time for the False Promise? False Promise, he's going to use it just in the nick of time! He's going to turn around now for Gabby. Fortunes and Lucent Beam going to slowly heal up Mushi into the Ghost Ship. Will they kill Gabby? Yes, they will. Mushi now, of course, back to healthy HP. Oh, there was once a day when you really regret playing against Oracle. Viper Strike gonna be used the top lane on Ice Ice. He's gonna slowly tick, but because of the Colin Brace, now you're using Winter's Curse. He's gonna try and run away from this. 
Arctic burn all the way into the north. He's going to get some chip damage out into Raging Potato. Now it's surrounded by three heroes. He's going to be a dead potato. And Mineski will feed on the Serpent Awards. Mmm, tasty. Nice gold. And now the turnaround again. So this, this game too. Got the juke from Nana. He's actually going to get out. Now looking for the X mark. Fighting into the shrine. Raging Potato going to get caught up into the torrent. And of course, now here comes the Eclipse. Mushi going to destroy Raging Potato. Mmm, those potato chips. RR did get the kill into Nana in the back line. With some help from his teammates. But Nana just creating so much space. Tier 3 tower basically doesn't take that much damage. And once again, the quick Manta. Mushi's been playing there, okay. Now looking for the Chrono in the back line. He's found two. Looking for the Eclipse. Gabby actually might die here. He silenced up. The Aegis will pop. Now the Epicenter coming in. Burst Strike. And Fate's going to save Ninja Boogie one more time. Big stuff. And they have no more spells left for Execration. And Mineski, they will kill off Lumic. Lasso onto right side size. Where's the Lucent Beam Moon? Nana, they have the Silence. X Mark going to try and catch the hero off. And actually, down goes RR. False Promise going to keep Ice Ice Size alive. That's just so ridiculous to play into. And now the buyback out from Lumic. Well, Gabby. Tell the Midas. Yep, he did. And now he's going to try and fight here into Mushi. Mushi taking some hits. Looking for the Chronosphere. Gabby. Time dilation. They want to kill Mushi off here. But the Mega Creep is here. The damage has already been done. Oh no, the Chrono only catches Mushi. But the False Promise onto Mr. Fade's eating as well. He's not going to die. Now popping the Eclipse. He's going to turn around right here. And it looks like Gabby might actually be in some trouble. Popping the BKB. And he's not really going to die just yet. But Lumi coming in. The Burst Strike. Bang! Down goes Nana. I already did it for the count. And Mushi. Happy to keep on going, farming onto James. Execration running back to the fountain. Raging Potato trying to heal up. He doesn't really have the damage. There's nothing they can do. And Mineski will just walk out of here with the spoils of war. Mega creeps in their favor. And Execration have an uphill task of trying to come back into this game. Oh dear. James. X mark. Alright, you'll set up into the air. He should be dying. Maybe not. Splinter shards. Heal from the Wyvern once again. Level 3 Necro Box. Oh, now the Bar Strike. They're trying to fight into Winter Wyvern here. No Cold Embrace, but the Disarm. Oh, wow. Okay, he will end up dying to Raging Potato, but Raging Potato would die to Mushi. He's just way too big at this point. Look, the right-click damage. One, two, three, four. Down he goes. Double kill. And with two heroes with no buyback on Execration's side, this is the GG. And now Gabby has called it. Execration, they figured they've had enough. They've been beaten. They've been battered. And Mineski outclassing Execration. Now trying for a Fountain Kill to try to kill Pesky Jabs. But he won't even die.